When you start the ROV compiler software, you will see a user interface as shown. Typically, the compile an Excel file into its binary code and make it executable within an Excel environment. There are several project settings that are required. And by the way, this ROV compiler software comes in eight languages, including English, Chinese, Spanish, Japanese, Portuguese, German, Italian, and French. Also, if you have purchased a software license, you can install it by going to Help, Enter License, Browse for the location of the license file you just received, and Install. General Settings tab. Here, you can set up the compile EXE files information, such as Project ID, for identifying the project in the future. Icon file for the icon of the compiled EXE file you will be sending your customers. Software version to identify what version number your current compiled software is. Language when asking for passwords and licenses when your customer opens a compiled EXE file. Splash screen graphics if you wish to showcase some splash screen with your name, company name, logo, graphics, and other information when the compiled EXE starts. Copyright information and end user license information or EULA. EULA that will be shown when the compiled EXE starts. Security settings. Specifically, you can decide if you would like the end user of the compiled executable file to save changes made subsequent to the end of the user's changes. If this selection is unchecked, the end user cannot save the changes made to the executable file. Next, you can decide if you wish to protect all VBA codes and macros in your Excel file. If you check this selection, the end user will be unable to view the VBA codes as they will be extracted and compiled into binary code and only accessible by yourself and not accessible by the end user. Next, you can also apply a simple password protection versus applying more advanced licensing protection. Typically, if the compile file is used internally in an organization, the password is sufficient. Whereas, more advanced protection is warranted if you're creating your own software application. If the advanced licensing option is selected, you can also set up default limited use capabilities where you can control the usability of the compiled file the first time it is launched without the need of a license. If you do not apply any of these options by default, the end user will need to have a license key to use it for the first time. However, if the default limited use capabilities are enabled, for example, number of days is set to 7, then the user opens an executable file for the first time they will be able to use the file for seven days without any license keys. And a license key is required to use the file after the first seven days. There are also advanced protection capabilities and options that can be set up for your compiled Excel file. If you set advanced protection for your compiled files, you can generate the license keys here or in the project licensing tab later on. File settings. You can then continue to set up the security and file settings the location of files to compile from XLS and to EXE, any related XLA or DLL files that the Excel file depends on, and if you wish to select specific input and output cells in the XLS or Excel file, such that they can be used in co command console mode. That is, the executable can be run without Excel running, and can be run in silent mode using typed in commands making it useful for component-based modeling and linking into existing software applications for a company. Review the user manual for a lot more details on how to use this console mode and details on each of the settings. Verify Settings tab. When all the file settings have been set, you can proceed to the Verify Settings tab to test your settings to see if they are correct. Click on the Verify button and the results will be shown to identify if the file can be compiled correctly. Compile tab. When the verify settings have passed, you can now compile the project. If the compilation process works, you will be notified with a simple message. In contrast, if the project failed to compile for some reason, you will be notified with a lot more detail on what went wrong. Licensing. Finally, if you set Apply Advanced License in the Security Settings section, you will now be able to create licenses for your customers or users. Be careful because if you chose a simple password protection, you cannot access this page. You can select the type of license to issue, either permanent, that is no expiration, or temporary licenses, 
such as number of uses, number of days, or date specific expiration. Here you can enter an encryption template manually or click on generate to randomly create an encryption template for you. This is the same encryption template in the general settings tab. The encryption template should be long and contain different combinations of letters, numbers, and symbols. The license protection for the compiled exe file that you will create will take this encryption template and combine it with the project ID and hardware ID of the user's computer to generate a patent pending license protection mechanism. Without this encryption template, there would be no way to regenerate the license key required to unlock the compiled file. You should keep the encryption template private and not share it with anybody else. This template, or this encryption template, is the master key to generating license keys. Therefore, remember to always save your project. You should also enter in the end user's computer's hardware ID. The hardware ID is generated by obtaining the user computer's hardware information, such as serial number of the computer's hard drive, motherboard, central processing unit, and other hardware pieces, and applying ROV compiler's proprietary algorithms to generate this unique hardware ID. No two computers will have the same identification. Using the encryption template and hardware ID, you can now generate keys that will only work on the specific computer that you wish. And by the way, you can obtain the hardware ID from your user or from your clients because once they install the software and if there are no default licensing, they will be asked for a license key. And at that point, they will be given their computer's hardware ID. You can click on copy to copy the license key to memory and paste it into an email and send to your client. You can also generate multiple keys at once for multiple computers when you enter in multiple hardware IDs. The IDs can be typed in and separated by commas or entered as new lines as illustrated. After generating keys, you can copy all of the keys and the associate IDs to send to your clients. Finally, please note that if you are using a trial version of ROV compiler, you can only make temporary and limited keys. To have access to generate all types of keys, you will need to have a permanent license of ROV compiler. That's it. You can now send your customers a compiled EXE file and license them your newly created software with specific license controls and protection that you wish. Your customers can see it, view it, use it, but cannot access the critical computations embedded in your Excel models. Of course, this video is meant to be only a quick overview. And for more detailed explanations of each of these critical inputs, please review the user manual. In the next mini segment, we will take a look and see how an end user would use the compiled EXE file.